Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now, today's video is going to be a selection of highlight clips from the past few days, and we're starting off here on Mississippi Acres Preserve, where you may have noticed we have a pretty pale looking raccoon running away from us. And that is actually yet another grey piebald raccoon. And once again, I have been out in search of an albino raccoon for the Trophy Lodge. I have still not found one, but I ended up finding another grey piebald raccoon. Honestly, I just cannot get lucky with actually finding an albino. And seeing as this was a female, I just took a running shot there with the 243. I really wasn't worried about getting a vital organ hit as I'm not even going to tax this, as I do already have a few much bigger ones in the trophy lodge. But moving over to Silveridge Peaks for the next couple of clips, and I have been spending a lot of time on Silveridge Peaks trying to get a male leucistic pronghorn and also an albino pronghorn for the trophy lodge. And I've ended up finding a couple of other things. And as you may see, we do have a level 5 in front of us. And this one is once again the dark fur type. As he stopped there, he gave me a really nice shot opportunity. And as you'll see, he really didn't go far after that shot from 308. And yeah, I just think it's really funny how this happens in Call of the Wild. I spent so long looking for a dark diamond pronghorn. And then, you know, I got one in the last video, and then I've been on Silveridge Peaks looking for rare pronghorn, and we have yet another dark diamond pronghorn. How cool is that? Now, this guy does have different horns to the one in the previous video, and he is still an absolute beauty. And I really, really do love the dark fur type on the pronghorn. It just looks so nice. Now, obviously, this isn't a rare or anything. It's just an uncommon fur type for the pronghorn, but it just looks fantastic. And I have even been grinding on my own single player map trying to get some rares to show up. And we had another level 5 show up. And once again, it's the dark fur type. So dropping him there with the 308. And this guy has some pretty nice looking horns on him. I was pretty confident this guy should also be another diamond. Which just it just how does that happen you spend so long looking for a specific trophy like a dark diamond pronghorn and then once you've got one they just keep showing up i think that that's just so funny on the same run where i shot this this diamond pronghorn here i actually had another two um level five pronghorn but both ended up being trolls one was the dark fur type and one was the tan fur type and they ended up both trolling so three level fives on that run and one of them made diamond i think that's just so funny but no rares yet hopefully we'll get some if we carry on grinding for them now we have switched over to Quattro Kalinas and I was running up this hill on my way to one of the lakes I like to check for Ibex and Red Deer and something made me turn around to look down into the fields sort of at the bottom of this hill and I spotted a pretty huge level 2 roebuck and he has a really solid estimate of 80 to 91 so he definitely could be a level 2 diamond in fact he has a pretty good chance at being a level 2 diamond and he certainly looked really really solid so obviously there I came and shot him with the 243 and you saw he went down really nice and quickly and he does actually end up making diamonds at 81.90 81.80 is the diamond requirement. So just barely makes it by 0.10. But that is a really, really cool find. You don't see an awful lot of diamond roe deer. And getting a level 2 diamond I just think is always really cool. And something about this buck as well that I find really cool is this looks like a lot of the trophy roe deer that I've seen you know, pictures off in real life. He just looks like a really solid roebuck that you would see in real life. And I was really, really happy with that. I just think he looks really, really fantastic. But sticking with Quattro Kalinas, and I have still been hunting for an albino wild boar. And I was on my way to one of my favourite wild boar lakes at their drink time. And I saw this group of boar moving through the field. And I was pretty confident that that one there, that level three male was another black gold. This is again, similar to the pronghorn earlier in the video, one of those situations where I didn't have any wet, rare wild boar for such a long time. And then I got the melanistic and the black gold on Medved. And then I've just had black gold after black gold after black gold. And this one was the first male I've seen. All the other ones I've seen have been females. So I was hoping that maybe this guy might have a chance at making gold. I wasn't sure what the, the gold requirement actually was. So I was just kind of crossing my fingers. 
but I knew that he would be a definite improvement over any females I had in the trophy lodge. And he has some pretty nice looking tusks on him, so he will definitely be a nice little improvement for the wall. But again, a really quite a rare animal and a very very beautiful animal to actually find. And yeah, unfortunately he doesn't quite make gold, he is just a silver. But that's still a really really nice find. These guys are really really rare. You don't see a lot of rare wild boar posted. And I've just had really insane luck with finding so many black golds recently. It's honestly quite funny. But he did actually miss gold by quite a bit. Gold is actually 98.50. So a bit of a shame. But still one that's going to be an improvement for the trophy lodge. Now this next clip is a bit of an odd one and I'm really including it in this video just because I think it could make for some interesting discussion. So I have been out on Yukon Valley recently hunting for some rare grey wolves. At the moment I have a alpha wolf multi-mount with three melanistics and I just think it'd be nice to have some variety in there with maybe an albino or now that they're rare a egg white or a red brown. And I've been out hunting and I've been picking up all the tracks as I do, looking at all the fur types. And for every common wolf I have found, it has said grey. And I have picked up hundreds and hundreds of tracks that have just said grey. And then I picked up this one track that said dark grey. Now, I tracked it down and shot it and it ended up being this male wolf here. Which he did actually make gold. But from what I can tell, this fur type is now a rare. Which... I really don't know how to feel about it because honestly it's hardly different from the common grey fur type that I was just talking about. I don't think you'd be able to tell really just from looking at it unless you picked up the track that you were looking at something different. And from what I can see the only difference is that this fur type has like slight reddish highlights to the fur. I That's literally the only way I can describe it. It's just like slightly like reddish brown sort of tints in there but this seems to be a rare and from you know discussing in discord this does seem like they've made this a rare fur type and i really don't know how to feel about it i ended up saving it because i don't know whether to include it in a mount or not and i just think it's a really odd choice i don't know why they decided to make that rare and maybe it's not meant to be rare maybe it's some kind of bug but I just think it's a really, really odd one. That's the only dark grey wolf I've come across. And I've been hunting in various different Yukon sessions. And like I said, picking up loads and loads of tracks. It must be hundreds of tracks. And yeah, that's the only dark grey I've come across. So don't know how to feel about that one. And I'd really like to hear what your guys' opinions are in the comments. And let me know if you found any dark grey uh, dark grey wolves since that update where they changed a lot of the rarities of different fur types. Like they made the egg whites and the red browns that used to be uncommon. They're now rare. So yeah, I think that could be a really interesting one to hear what you guys think about that. So yeah really really odd one. Now talking about that update where they changed the rarities of certain fur types, this was one of the fur types that also got affected. That right there is a level 3 piebald rocky mountain elk bull. Now after Silver Ridge Peaks released, piebald rocky mountain elk were basically more of an uncommon than a rare. You would see them quite often and to the point where I just ignored them. But with that update where they changed how rare certain fur types were, it does appear that they have now made Piebald Rocky Mountain Elk a proper rare. And this is actually the first one I have seen since that update. And this guy was actually on my own map. And he has the like the Piebald pattern that I really like for the Rocky Mountain Elk with the sort of faint spots. It's a really, really beautiful looking Piebald. And I'm so glad that these are actually like a proper rare now. Because like I said, I used to just basically ignore these when I found them. There were so many that I just didn't bother to shoot because they were just more of an uncommon than anything. But now they're an actual rare, I have a reason to shoot them and put one in my trophy lodge. And this guy is actually a pretty nice looking little level 3. He is a small level 3 but he does actually have some nice antlers on him. And like I said, I really like this piebald pattern. It's just like sort of subtle faint white splotches throughout that beautiful coat. And I just think it looks really really nice. And I'm just happy that I can now like appreciate this as being a proper rare. And yeah, just enjoy it for being a cool thing to find. Sticking with the theme of piebolds, but this time heading back over to Mississippi Acres, I ended up finding something pretty cool whilst out here looking for an albino raccoon. That is a level 5 female piebald grey fox. And this is only the second piebald grey fox I've ever seen. 
it is unfortunately the same piebald pattern as my first one i haven't found the second pattern yet but even still i was so excited because these guys are beautiful now i was actually waiting for that fox to come back towards me when i noticed some blue tracks were appearing sort of beside me and she had managed to sneak around and was like basically about to walk straight past me and I couldn't believe it that she snuck that close and I didn't see her. It was just really cool that I sort of noticed the tracks and I was like, hang on, is she trying to go past me? And yeah, sure enough, she was. And this fox ended up being quite obliging and letting me take a good number of pictures. Unfortunately, a lot of them didn't come out particularly well, but it was just a really cool experience to actually get to see this rare out in its natural environment just in a bit more detail because when i saw the first piebald gray fox that was on my friend's map it was more a case of just find it and shoot it and get it down as quickly as possible but this was a multiplayer server that i found just through multiplayer hopping and i ended up getting host of it so i didn't have to worry about being kicked or anything and i could just enjoy this experience of being this close to an absolutely stunning rare and I just found it so cool how she actually managed to sneak around me like that. It kind of reminded me of how in real life you'll just be trying to photograph an animal and it'll disappear behind a piece of brush and then suddenly it reappears right next to you. And those experiences are always really cool when animals just disappear like ghosts and then just appear again. And it was also really cool because this was my first time as far as I can remember, getting this close to a rare predator. Like, you can see, she's like 10 to 15 metres away in these clips, and it's really, really cool. Uh, just, oh, just such a cool experience. And I know I'm really geeking out over it, but I really love these encounters in the game that just make it feel a little bit more realistic. And I never like to rush these encounters, especially when, you know, it just kind of happens organically. I wasn't actually trying to get close to this fox to take pictures, but she just walked past me and ended up getting really close. And yeah, just look at that. What a stunning, stunning animal. Now she does take off there and start fleeing. I obviously being there on the road had no cover or anything so she could see me pretty clearly. And uh, she doesn't actually go off too far. She does just start running in um, off the road and then sort of in this brush on the other side. But it was actually quite open. There isn't a whole lot of sort of thick, dense brush like there is in some places on the map. So I didn't really have to worry. I knew she wasn't going to go very far before I should be able to get a nice clear shot. And I wasn't going to try and get close again to take any more pictures. I felt like that experience was just cool as it was being, as I said, like an organic experience that just happened right rather than me trying to actually spend time sneaking in on it. And as you can see, as she started walking back towards me there, got a really, really nice shot with the 243 and dropped her in her tracks. What a cool animal. What a cool experience. That's the sort of thing that I live for in Call of the Wild. I just think it's such a cool thing. And, you know, just spending a few moments appreciating an animal like this as it's out you know, on the map where it, where they are, I think it gives you a bit more appreciation, honestly, than when you just, you know, quickly shoot it and then it's in the trophy lodge. And yeah, that certainly was the case here because I definitely wanted to put this one somewhere in the lodge because it would, would remind me of that really cool experience. And of course, she is only a silver being a level five, but what a beauty. And you can really see what I mean about the, the white feet, which I just think are such a nice little detail. And the piebald grey fox in Call of the Wild are actually really accurate to the ones in real life from the photographs I've seen, which is just also a really, really cool thing. And I love to see that kind of detail going into the game. But yeah, they, these guys are just stunning. They are really, really pretty. One of the prettiest rares in Call of the Wild, in my opinion. And I will never, ever get tired of finding piebald grey fox. I, yeah, just a really cool rare. I hope one day I can get a bigger one, maybe a male to go in a multi-mount or something. But honestly, I couldn't be happier with that. Such a cool experience, such a cool animal. I'm super happy and now moving on to the final clip of this video and we are sticking with the theme of rare fox for one of the coolest and rarest animals i have ever found in the hunter call of the wild now i mentioned earlier that i had been hunting around looking for some rare gray wolves and as you can see i was here in one of the areas looking at some gray wolves when i noticed a what looked to be a pretty pale level 5 female fox and I was thinking in my head, is that an albino? Is it an albino? And there was another level 5 female with it. And it 
had the sort of paler coat that the red fox can have. And I was sort of comparing it to that other fox. And I was thinking, I can't see any markings on this one. This one looks pure white. And I picked up her track as she took off. And it said albino. Honestly, one of the most exciting things I have ever picked up the track from in Call of the Wild. Rare red fox are really hard to find anyway. But the albinos and the melanistics are even harder to find. And honestly just so so cool i had shot piebald gray fox i have shot one melanistic red fox and i have always wanted to find an albino and i actually ended up finding one whilst on an albino wolf hunt basically that was really what i was going for was really hoping to find an albino wolf and i found an albino fox and you can see there as i sort of take the night vision off and move the scope away so the highlight goes away that's just a pure snow white fox on yukon valley at night just honestly so so cool this was an amazing experience and honestly i just wanted to make sure i got a good shot on her and got the what should be a silver out of her but just yeah what a cool animal to see and as she stood there i felt pretty confident about that shot and dropped her on the spot now i felt like the shot might have been a little bit high but I should have got neck, I thought, at worst. And sure enough, there was vital blood. So got to just take a moment and just appreciate how cool this is. The I can't stress, these are so, so rare. And yeah, this is the first one I've ever seen in game. Just absolutely stunning. Look at that fur. And we're going to pick her up and just take a look at her now in the harvest screen. Silver Albino Red Fox. Straight to the lodge. And yeah, I was a little bit high on that shot. Hitting the uh, thoracic vertebrae, neck and that left lung. So yeah, I was just... <sighs> that's just so cool. Just looking at it again, this was so, so cool. And I don't know if I'll ever see another one of these. Like I said, rare Red Fox are just hard to find. Hunting red fox in general is a little bit of a task because they are so small and they can easily hide in just tiny little bits of vegetation and getting a shot at them can be difficult because they are so small and this just worked out so perfectly. So I've now shot every single rare for red fox and a diamond red fox. So as far as I'm concerned, my red fox collection is complete and I couldn't be more thrilled. I honestly never thought I'd get to see one of these. What a gorgeous rare. And to get it in, you know, the same video where I'm getting to share that experience with the piebald grey fox, it couldn't have worked out any better, I don't think. This is just amazing. What an animal to find. And I really wasn't expecting it. I wasn't hunting fox. I was hunting wolves and this showed up. And I made the joke that, okay, I didn't get an albino wolf, but I kind of got an albino mini wolf. <laughs> I got kind of close. But this is so much cooler in my mind because I have shot albino wolves but I'd never shot an albino red fox. And I honestly, I just can't believe it happened. They're just so rare. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Some really cool animals in this one that I was really, as you can probably tell, stoked to share with you guys. And I'm sorry the video was a little bit late. I was a little bit under the weather, but still so pumped to actually record this and then share it with you guys it's always cool to watch the footage back and then sort of relive relive that experience so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next one thank you